was shining above the green mountains. The sun was declining beneath the blue sea. As I strayed with my love to the pure crystal fountain that stands in the beautiful Vale of Trolley. She was lovely and fair. Come on, everyone, sing. As, As the rose of the summer. summer. I figured he'd know this one. <laughs> And her father, I'll right. bring to that, too. Oh, <laughs> Listen, I married my daughter off to the same man twice. Does that mean I'll have to double his dowry? Oh, dear. I'll hock the place. <laughs> Man does not forget oh. to raise a toast to Mary's husband, oh. Jack. Uh, no, no. We must yes, yes, to Jack. To Jack. To Jack. <laughs> You okay? Uh, this model. <laughs> May your friendly old neighborhood neurologist uh, prescribe a cup of black coffee? No, 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 no. It tears the heart out of my breast to think of all the gentle inspirations and mellow thoughts that are drowned in cups of black coffee. <laughs> Terrible stuff. Fierce and waste altogether, Bucky. Uh, it's okay, Bucky. I'll keep an eye on things. Oh. I, I appreciate that, Faith. You're a nice person, and I know you understand. Oh, I do understand. Hey, where's Frank? Hmm? Where is he indeed? Uh, I think he did little John upstairs. Uh, he didn't hear anything from across the street, did he? What about the strike, you mean? Yeah. No, I haven't heard a thing. Well, as a matter of fact, the administration is having a meeting right this minute. That's why Julian can be with us. Mm-hmm. The board and the negotiating team are meeting right now in Dr. Westheimer's office. They've been there since about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Well, I tell you, it's been a wonderful wedding, but it doesn't look like the administration is going to come to a settlement mm. tonight. So that means I'm going to have to be on the picket line at 12 noon oh, tomorrow. Oh, and I think I'm going to go get about 14 hours sleep. That sounds very <laughs> sensible. <laughs> well, it was good of you to celebrate it with us. Thank you. John? Bucky, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hand me the glass. <laughs> He's still in our glasses, is he? Bucky, wait a minute, and I'll walk over with you, okay? What do you mean? You mean you have to go back to work tonight? Uh-huh. Uh, at this hour? Well, they need me, especially on the night shift. But first, I'm going to go visit Angel and take him some of this wedding cake. Ah, <laughs> and then I'm going to visit some of my favorite patients. Yeah, listen, I'll walk you guys <laughs> over. Okay, yeah, good night. Thank you. I mean, well, I don't even get to walk around. Come on. Any time of the day or night. I'll see you guys again. Give my love to Angel. I will. Good night. Give your brother a kiss for us. Bye. See you later. What about you? Come on, John. Women have always been my problem. My turn is No, no, I didn't mean that. I was wondering if you're ready to go home. No, no, but I suppose I should. Maybe and Johnny have had a long, a long day. Drinking slightly to excess is good for you once in a great while, so long as it isn't a habit and it doesn't inconvenience your friends. You're exactly right. You. Uh, can you walk? Of course I can walk. When you have the habit of misdirecting your affection and pursuing the wrong woman beyond common sense and reasons, you, you also become experienced in managing... I must say, I'm, I'm a little bit out of practice. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Oh, a lovely way. <laughs> Beautiful bride and a very fortunate room. Yeah. And I want to thank you for sharing this wonderful day. <laughs> Don't mention it. What you need to do is go home to bed, young man. Mm -hmm. But before you go to sleep, take three aspirin and a pint of water. Mm -hmm. uh, Look, you're sure you won't let me walk a couple of blocks with you? No, 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 sober no, up, no, huh? No, no, Johnny, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hear of that. No, no, that's okay. I'm going right past his door. No, we'll both go beyond my door, and we'll go to your door, and I'll leave you, and I'll turn to my door. Good. Oh, Being exactly. greatly Good sobered by the night air. Oh, I hope so. Oh, oh well, so. something like that, pal. Come on along. Uh, Congratulations again. Uh, and thank you both so much. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Oh. Come on. Go, Jerry. Oh, 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 o
Yeah. You think they'll be all right? Yeah. I'm sure of it. You know, Mary once said that she thought part of Tom's trouble must have been a woman. I think maybe she was right. Will we ever know the truth of it? I wonder. Zero seven. Mr. Woodard, what are you doing? Just making a few phone calls. Where's your nurse? She hadn't had anything to eat. I sent her out for dinner. Well, is it something uh, urgent? Well, not really. I'm just looking for my wife. She hasn't been home all evening. Well, why don't you get back under the covers and let me make the phone calls for you? Are you suggesting that pushing the buttons on this phone is too great a strain on my enfeebled constitution? No, I am suggesting that there are people here to help you, and uh, you should let us do our job. What's the number? It's under Longworth in the book there. <laughs> okay. I was just uh, at the Ryan's, and I came over to see my brother, but he was sound asleep. Am I next on your list? Well, you see, I had about an hour to spare, so I thought I'd visit some of my favorite patients, the ones who make me feel good. It's ringing. Oh, thank you. What? Polly? Hi, uh, Bill Woodard. Oh, pretty well, thank you. Look, Polly, uh, have you by any chance seen Ray? Oh, you did, did you? When was that? Oh, did she say where she was going then? Oh, no, no, Polly, no problem. It's just that I had a couple of things I wanted to put in the second edition, but I can call the office direct. Yeah. Right, right. See you soon. No luck? Had a late lunch. Polly left her about 4 o'clock. Well, don't worry. I'm sure she's okay. We'll find her. Uh, have you tried uh, your office? That's next. Okay. <laughs> Roger, how can I ever explain to you how grateful I am for you, for your apartment, and for a few moments in my life that just belong to me? I think I understand perfectly well. Mm, do you? Ah, uh, you know, I can relax with you. I can be myself. I don't have to pretend all the time that I can cope with everything. It is a lovely treat. No, no, that's the way it should be. You know, Ray, I've, uh, I've come to care for you very much, and I think you deserve something for you. And it gives me great, great pleasure to uh, make you happy. You're good, Fred. <laughs> oh, my earrings. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, oh, here's one on the table, and, and the uh, other is... the other uh, one? <laughs> hey, I'm starting to panic about the time. I know you'll find it somewhere. Will you uh, keep it for me? And that's what? I will indeed. You know, I don't like the idea of you going out in the night all alone. Huh? Well, you'll dislike it a lot more if I were seen coming out of your apartment with Ugh. you. <laughs> okay. Here you go. You know, it's uh, better not to uh, leave the apartment at all. <laughs> Yeah, well, if I do run into any of your relations, I've got my story all worked out. I'm consulting with my husband's surgeon. Mm, very good. Last thing in the world I want is William Price Woodard after my head. <laughs> okay. Good night. Yeah. Go carefully. Oh, yeah. Very carefully. See you. to tell you, lady, it was a pretty good idea. It was? Yeah. Was it? Uh-huh. 
What? The mass in the parlor. This wedding in the house. Oh, yes. It did work out nicely, didn't it? I only hope it sticks. John. Well, to his credit, I must admit, Mr. Finelli was trying extra hard tonight. Oh, uh, that he was. I mean, a honeymoon in Ireland. Uh, a green carnation. <laughs> Among other things. Mary is happy. There's no denying that. Oh, I guess that's true. And I've got to admit, Jack was not the only one that was making an effort around here tonight. Well, I was. For you. For your sake. And for Mary. And for yourself, John. I mean, you've got a good long life ahead of you, please God. You don't want to spend it being angry with your son-in-law. It's true. Although I must admit, part of me is always going to wish Mary chosen Tom. Oh. Well, I only hope Tom knows it. <laughs> Tom knows it. Yeah. So does Jack know it. But, which is not to say that you can change your feelings overnight, no. I mean, we're very grateful for the effort that you've been making. Sweetheart, don't you do that. You must be near dead. Let no, me try. No, 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 no. It's just a little pretzel that somebody dropped a step to pretzel. There. Guess it. I felt good about all of them tonight. The children. Yeah. Even Patrick with all his problems. Oh, Patrick's main problem is he needs about a week's sleep. I do believe that if he had a few good meals and some sleep, he could handle any problem coming his way in his own good, sweet way. And that includes Delia and two letters of reprimand. He was his old self again early in the evening, even more so, huh? Ah, yes, he was. Yeah. He was so happy for me, Eddie. Hello. He looked nearly dead when they went home. Do you know that? Well, I guess I keep thinking, maybe it's because I can't do anything about it, that when you're that age, you can be near to exhaustion and still keep coming back for more. You know, I remember when I was delivering beer for A.J. Brennan, horsing those barrels off the truck at, from 5 o'clock in the morning till God knows what hours, <laughs> ready to fight any of the other drivers at any time of the day. <laughs> I'd get home and never even remember I went to bed. <laughs> then I'd have to peel myself numb off the mattress at 4 a.m. When I think of when I think of where I come from, no education really past the middle of high school. Less money. Then I look at the kids. Their college educations. Frank with his law degree. Patrick with all those years of studying behind him. Mm -hmm. And the girls. With jobs they love. And children they're crazy about. All of them able to get up off the deck after a bad round and go mm -hmm. after them again. Oh. I can't help thinking... My God, we've come a long way. And we're very lucky. Ah, we have, John. <laughs> and we are. And the best part, oh. although I don't show it enough, is looking forward to the rest of it with you. Ah. Let me hit the lights. Yes. I've locked the door. Yeah. You know, the thing is, I want Tom for my son-in-law. So if Mary wouldn't have him, well, why don't we get Siobhan to come home and then we'll marry the two of them oh, all? dear Lord. John, John, give it up, give it up. Tom is going to get over Mary just fine. He's going to find himself a nice girl all on his own. Please, let's get to bed. I'm sure the rest of the world will manage just fine without your help for the next eight hours. Week. Sexually assaulted. The truth in her eyes, ever shining, that made Listen, me. Listen, I'm getting swell, but what about the neighbors? There aren't any neighbors. <gasps> you live here? I live there. Oh, your apartment.
apartment is really in the other building. I was told it was built for the local bootlegger during Prohibition. Ah, who doubtless supplied the cellar at Ryan's when it was O'Donnell's. I must say that I thought of that. You need help? No, no. I have faith that you'll just stand safely to the side and let me go in first. Tom. Tom! All secure. Uh, well, did you think it wouldn't be? Well, expect nothing and be prepared for oh. everything. Oh, Faith, I, I, I've had too much to drink. Uh, well, that's very possible, yes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. How about those three aspirins and a pint of water? Mm, it doesn't matter, Anna. <laughs> it will in the morning. Oh. Hey, this is a terrific apartment. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, Here go. Well, the floor seems to be moving at the moment. Oh. Oh. That's probably a temporary condition. Are the aspirin on the shelf? Oh. Yes, they should be. Hmm. Hey, this is really a uh, compact and tidy little space over here. Uh, ice cubes, ice cubes. I know I'm not drunk. What in the world? Uh, that is my bedroom, and I have to close the door and that side to move the bed to reach into the liquor cabinet. Oh, did you build it? Nope, it was like this when I arrived, though it is admirably suitable to my purposes. I, I don't understand. Faith, would you like to have a little drink? Ah, uh, no, thank you. I wouldn't, and neither should you. Oh? Now, come on over here and stretch out. Put <sighs> your feet up. Only take these first. <laughs> Down. Here. Oh. Watch your hands. The effects... And drink your water. I'm afraid it will not be the same. Well, it'll be nicer in the morning. There you go. Ah! Oh, oh tonight's the problem. I don't actually like whiskey much, Faith, but it softens the edges, you know? Hey, Tom. Hmm. You'll feel better about Mary, because you know that she's so happy. I'm glad she's happy. She's better off out of this. Out of what? Hmm. My trouble. Tom? It's... What is your trouble? Not... Safe. Tom? Oh, Faith, did you ask me something? Yes, I did. Oh, my carrots. I, I keep those carrots because I, oh, make my own carrot juice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, thank you, Faith. You take care of now going home. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Don't you, worry. I'll be perfectly all right. You, you will. And you go to sleep, okay? Okay. You take care now. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh. Jenny Craig. I see. Well, if you do see Mrs. Uh, Woodard, would you please tell her to contact her husband? Okay. Yes, I will. Thank you. Well, your housekeeper hasn't seen her either, but she told me that she sends her regards. But are you sure that you use the nightline number for, for the office? It's 2455. Yes. It's not that late. Doesn't she usually come in to say goodnight? Look, let's let's try Polly again. Now, Ray must have said something about Hi. where she... Oh, how are you doing? All right. Are you sure? You look tired. Should I take him at his word? Oh, Mr. Woodard's had a fine day. But it's also been a long day. 
So I hope you get some good sleep tonight, okay? And I will see you first thing in the morning. Thank you. Lizzie. Okay. Right. Good night. Good night. Good night. So, long day, huh? Did they do any tests? Well, just a cardiogram. And how was it? Well, nobody got excited about it. All right, I guess. Good. I'm a little worried. Yeah, I'm not used to being away all afternoon. And evening. How's Polly? Oh, fine. Full of all the latest about everybody. Mm -hmm. Are you lonesome without me? Well, this is fine company. Hmm. So, any visitors? You hear from Royal? He says that Chicago's cold. Ah. Oh. Make me wish I was out on Michigan Avenue with him. Yeah, I know, love. I know. It's hard being stuck here, but you're getting better every day. Better than what? A helpless old man. Hell of a lot better than that, and you know it. You're the best man around for my money, and you know that, too. What did you and Polly talk about? Ooh, all sorts of things. I told her about uh, the campaign we're planning for Frank. She was fascinated, and she promised to keep her mouth shut. Frank seems to fascinate everybody. Mm, it's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, Bill, are we going to have fun sending him to Washington? Uh, did you stay and have dinner with Polly? Yep, just left her. She was still talking. Spend breakfast in bed with SoapNet. Sleep in, curl up, and check out. With back-to-back -back episodes of One Tree Hill and Beverly Hills 90210. Breakfast in bed, 7 to 12 noon every Saturday and Sunday morning on SoapNet.